Okay, um, so if you open up AutoCAD, I'm currently using 2020. Um, I'm assuming with student licenses, you should be putting on the most recent version. Um, so this should all be pretty consistent with what y'all got, uh, considering I'm assuming this is one of y'all's first semesters uh, to have AutoCAD on your computer to start off with. So um, I'm going to start with your CTB file, um, also known as your plot style table. So um, how I'm going to start off is type in plot as a command, enter. Um, so that information is up here. It's basically assigning pen weights to any of your lines based off of color or distinguishing factor. Um, so the same way that when you're drafting by hand and you use different um, pens to establish different weights. Uh, this is a digital way of doing that. So I have provided on your resources um, a CTB file. It should be labeled LART uh, 235, 835. And that's your CTB file that you're going to be using for this course. Um, so how you're going to start off is you're going to go after you do plot, you're going to click in this drop dropdown. Um, this is just my favorite method of doing it and seems the easiest. So what I typically do is choose one random one that's already in here. Uh, a lot of y'all have grayscale already in there. So grayscale. Um, and then I click this little button off to the side. This is the editable side of each of your plot styles. Um, so this is how you establish what each color means and what each setting um, means in here. But that's already been provided for you. So we're just trying to get them loaded into your AutoCAD. Um, so what I do is I do save as. And that brings you to where all of them are saved in your computer. So whatever this address is in your computer. So what you'll want to do is copy this guy up here. So double click or drag and drop whatever method you have. Um, and you're going to do control C for copy. Um, and then you're going to open up a file explorer. I'll grab a new one on my other window. So we've got our file explorer. I'm going to click in here and control V and paste um, and push enter. So that navigated me to where in my computer um, is the CTB stored. So then what you're going to take is, I'll turn this one off to the side. Um, and then you've got these resources that have been provided to you. Um, so you're going to find wherever you've saved your CTB that's been provided um, through your grading course. I'm going to take that and you can either drag and drop or copy and paste whatever your favorite method is um, and since it's already in my computer um, it's saying hey do you want to replace it um, but go ahead and place it in here and you'll see that it shows up okay um, in order for this to show up in CAD sometimes it requires you to close out of CAD um, to refresh to gain the connection to this file but basically you just went in your computer's file um, if you're hopping from computer to computer especially if you're using the, um, the servers for the uh, computers on campus uh, you might have to do this um, each time you swap computers um, most of the time it's not gonna if you're changing computers it will not have this information right um, so keep that file on hand um, so like I said, it shows up here for me, and this is CAD's Save As, right, as one of our CTVs. If it doesn't show up there, you're going to close out, um, and then you'll close AutoCAD and open it back up, and when you type in plot, um, you should have it in your options, so the LARC, 235, 835, okay? Um, so what I normally do is um, load this in and then a lot of the time when I start a brand new file, um, I like to go ahead and do page setup. And this um, will choose your layout default print. So if you go to your, your paper space, one of your paper space tabs and you type in paper setup, uh, you can also right click here and choose Page Setup Manager. Both of those get you to the same spot. This allows you to choose all the settings related to this paper, um, and it keeps them permanent. So modify. Um, so I go in here, and I make sure that it's set to um, my plot style that I want. Um, you can choose your prearranged page size. Um, and then 
Typically, my go-to is DWG to PDF. Uh, this is one of the best ways to export. It causes the least amount of mayhem and normally makes the smallest amount of files um, when exporting to PDFs. So I definitely suggest this as your plotter for your typical. Um, so I set up all these things, make it exactly how I like it, and I say okay, um, and then I close out. And rather than, the reason why you do that is rather than doing plot and having to change this every single time and set these every time you'd like to plot something from this page, it comes pre-set up because I did it in Page Setup Manager. So you'll have exactly what you wanted there. Um, so that's your go-to um, method to apply a CTV file to AutoCAD. Um, later, you will be able to see in other videos um, how that is kind of applied to your line weights and what that does for you.